Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session I am going to share with you how we can use YOLO V8 segmentation model, a custom uh, segmentation model for counting eggs on conveyor belt. Means we have a conveyor belt machine and we have eggs on that machine and of course the eggs are moving and we want to create a segmentation model for that and we want to create a counter so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends in last session we create our own custom yolo v8 segmentation model so if you don't know how to create your own custom segmentation model for Yolo V8. I will mention video link, watch video and then you will get the idea. So we are going to use a same method and we are going to create here means I have already created the model, the custom segmentation model for uh, detecting the egg or we can say for segmenting the egg because I have shared the model. So we are going to simply uh, create here a counter for moving eggs on conveyor belt so i will explain full code so let's get started for that first you need windows machine this is windows 11 machine of course you can use your windows 10 machine also then you need ultralytics then open cv hyphen python and cv zone install on your windows machine simply open tony python ide and then just go inside tools let me show you here so uh, this is what tony python id then just go to the tools manage packages and search for opencv hyphen python hit enter it will open opencv hyphen python and then just click on install it will install opencv hyphen python then ultralytics ultralytics first package just click on install and it will install ultralytics then we need CV zone. So CV zone first package, just click on install and it will install CV zone on our Windows machine. That's that. This is how you need to install the packages on your Windows machine. Simple. So now, as I mentioned, Yolo V8 segment a counter. This is the repository name. I will mention the link. You need to simply copy paste the link inside the browser. Then I have shared a full code. Also, I have shared the model also we have here basically as you can see the base.zip is basically our model a custom egg detector model on conveyor belt simple then we have here tracker because we want to create a tracker means we want to track each egg and we want to assign the id for each egg then uh, then we we can simply create a counter simple so just open the link inside the browser go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so it's now downloading so friends as you can see we have successfully download our repository go to the folder downloads right click winrar extract with the folder name and then we have our repository so first we need our video file to, so vid.txt just copy the link and open in new tab control plus v hit enter and click on download it will download our video file so friends as you can see we have successfully download our video file in zip format so go downloads egg.zip right click cut and just move the folder inside main repository just paste it then again right click to the folder winrar and just click on extract here it will extract our video file which is egg.mp4 and as you can see friends this is what our video file uh, we have here eggs on a conveyor belt which basically moving and we want to create a counter simple so this is what our video file so let's just open our uh, code but first we want to extract our model so best.zip this is what our model so right click click on winrar and click on extract here it will extract our 
yolo weird segmentation model as you can see the custom segmentation model for egg detecting so base.pt is our model so main.py this is what our main code and then let me close untitled file then again go to the open and then we have here yolo segmentation.py so friends this is what our yolo weird segmentation.py a python file uh, here we create a class yolo sec then inside that we have function detect function then we have height width channels is equal to img.shape then results is equal to self.model predict source img.copy and then we have save is equal to false means uh, we don't want to save anything so save txt false so we are not going to save anything from our result so result is equal to result first uh, first object we are going to select here so zero then l is equal to length result means if the result is a zero then we are going to simply uh, create continue method it will not detect anything and we have a continue frame if there is greater than zero the result so of course we have the segmentation and b box and bounding box and another things are there so if length result is if it is greater than zero then as i mentioned then we are going to do all these things then we have segmentation all other things then as you can see here, here i have mentioned the b boxes the classes idx scores and of course then we want to return boxes class ideas and segmentation counter idx this is what our list this is what our list where we are going to save our segmentation uh, coordinates inside the the list and then we have scores so this is the method this is the method for uh, detecting the segmentation with the help of yolo v8 so yolo segmentation.py this is what our python file and from this file we are going to call here as you can see yolo seg from yolo segmentation file we are going to call our class the class name is yolo seg as simple as simple so then uh, as i mentioned we want here our tracker so i have mentioned a tracker.py file also here it is as you can see this is what our tracker.py so from tracker our file we are going to import all the things then import numpy as mp then ys is just a variable so ys is equal to we want to of course call our class from yolo segmentation.py because this is our uh, this is our python code where we have our segmentation method or we can say the function simple so we want to uh, call our class and inside that we want to mention our uh, model we, our model which we create a custom segmentation model which is best.pt then we want here a coco onetxt file a class file as you can see i have mentioned here coco onetxt and here we have only one class which is egg so zero is the class id and egg is the class name so we have here coco onetxt uh, file which we are going to read uh, then we have here our video file egg.mp4 then we have here a mouse function because we want to uh, mention the area and in that particular area when we have our egg then only we are going to count also then only we are going to track our object simple so for that i have mentioned the uh, mouse function simple then we have here this is the area simple this is the area the area coordinates and then we have while loop of course a basic code frame uh, is equal to c to dot resize and 1020500 width and height then overlay is equal to frame dot copy then alpha channel 0 0.5 we are going to use this alpha channel for c to dot add weighted uh, display we are going to use uh, a cv2 dot add weighted method simple you will get the idea when we start our code so then we have here as you can see because inside our yolo segmentation dot pi we return b boxes class id segmentation counter idx and score so simply we want to call all the things from our file so here it is as you can see b boxes classes segmentation scores is equal to ys dot detect frame why ys because ys is just a variable which represent our class and inside that class we have our model 
simple so we have here class as you can see we have here class and we mentioned self method also the model path model path in the sense base dot pt so simply we want to mention our model inside our yolo sec class that's it so ys is just a variable which we want to call over here and inside that we want to mention our function so our function name is detect inside the yellow sec class we have detect function so we want to call that function with ys variable ys dot detect and inside that we want to pass our frame then we have our result so b box idx is equal to tracker dot update b boxes so because we want our tracker for tracking our object and assigning the id for each object so simply we want to pass our boxes these boxes is basically the rectangle coordinate x y x1 and y1 so if we want to use the tracker we want to send our object coordinates so object coordinate is basically the rectangle coordinates so i have sent the b boxes inside our tracker dot update then we are going to call our tracker so b box idx so b box and the segmentation so b box and seg in zip b box idx and for segmentation i have mentioned the segmentations as you can see this one so for b box is basically b box idx this one and the seg is basically segmentation this one now we have x3 y3 x4 y4 this is the new coordinates for rectangle with the help of our tracker and then we have another coordinates which is the id because we are going to assign the id for each egg with the help of our tracker dot pi and this all things is basically our b box simple then we want here our object center point so simply cx and cy is equal to int x3 this x3 plus x4 divided by 2 we will get the cx same way cy y3 plus y4 divided by 2 we will get the cy really simple way then we have cv2 dot polylines function for drawing the polyline and i have mentioned here area as you can see this is what our area and here we need to mention the polylines method frame is equal to not is equal to frame and np dot array area np dot in 32 through the color blue and the thickness this is how we will draw the polylines on our frame simple then i have already explained in previous videos so many videos uh, if we want to detect the object in particular area for that we need uh, the area so we have area here as you can see this is what the polyline so we have here area then we need that object center point so we have here center point so simply we can use cv2 dot point polygon test method so it means we can say we can create the condition if the object center point it is, is inside our region of interest area then only we are going to uh, draw the rectangle and other things we are going to create the counter so same way result is equal to our cv2 dot polygon test method here it is as you can see i have mentioned the area this is what our area np dot array this is the function then cx cy is the center point and the false then we will get the results simple so if the result is is equal to or greater than zero then only we are going to draw the circle and because we have the segmentation so we can simply draw the polyline so cv2 dot fill poly uh, method for drawing the polylines then we have cv2 dot add vector method then of course we are going to put the id on our each egg and then we have counter so counter one dot count id is equal to is equal to zero why i will explain but counter one dot append then id it will create the counter one list which we have mentioned here simple so this is the this is our code so now what we are going to do let me freeze the frame then i will explain uh, from counter because this is the basic code this is how we uh, use the yellow weird segmentation the basic code so if i save the code it will freeze our frame and friends as you can see we have here counter and as i mentioned this is what our region of interest area this is what our region of interest area if the egg is inside our area then only we are going to draw the circle means then only we are going to 
use this method because we create here condition if the result is greater than or is equal to zero in the area means if the egg is inside the area means egg center point the object center point if it is inside our area then only we are going to draw the circle then we have fill poly function then we have add vector function and then we have see zone put text rectangle method simple so now if i skip the frame watch here it is as you can see this x center point is inside our area we have the polylines we have c2 dot add weighted function also we have the tracker id the this x id is basically 3 and we count this egg as a 1 so ca ca means the counter as you can see the one we count one egg simple and why i have mentioned if counter dot count id is equal to is equal to zero then we have counter one dot append id because the center point when the center point pass our area meanwhile it will count same id again and again and the counter will be increased so we don't want to uh, count same id again and again when our object is in our area so for that we create here if condition if counter dot count id is equal to is equal to zero means please don't count same id again and again this is what our condition then we have counter one dot append id it will save our id inside the list then ca is just a variable and the length of our counter list inside that counter we have id which basically we are saving from here so the list of our counter one is basically our counter one two three simple so for that when our egg is inside our area our region of interest area we have counter as you can see we have count here one egg so let's just go for another egg we have this one when it its center point is inside our area we have counter as you can see we count now two two eggs so let's just go for another one this one as you can see three four five six as you can see we counted six egg seven eight nine ten as you can see we are counting eggs so friends this is how you can simply start the while loop and it will uh, it will work in while loop continuously so this is how friends you can use yolo v8 custom segmentation model for detecting tracking and counting uh, for any object if you don't know how to do all these things as i mentioned i have created a video in last session you will get the idea how to create your own custom segmentation model so this is for today video we will meet our next video till then thank you to care and bye bye